Welcome back, everybody, and now featuring Gervais Peters, one of the veterans of the team. Gervais, you, you had a little bit more experience at the college levels when you transferred in. Uh, I guess that's had a chance for you to kind of be a mentor to some of the, the new um, incoming games. Is that something that you guys, that's something that you've uh, kind of embraced? Uh, yeah, Coach already told me planning on going like during the offseason that I would kind of be a leader. He wanted me to be kind of more vocal. And, you know, when the young guys have questions and stuff like that, they always come to me. So I kind of embraced the role of being a more vocal leader and talking to the young guys and helping them out. Because this is kind of a big transition between high school basketball and then junior college basketball. I mean, you might be 17, 18, you might come out here and play somebody who's 20, 21. So I just do my best to try to help. It's a, it's a big also a big change for them to have to deal with the shot, shot clock. clock. Mm -hmm. So that's something that's really big, and I know you've been helping out with it. Uh, it also, it, it's got to be from a leadership standpoint uh, that you've got to be helping out with so much of the adversity, not only from the change from a high school game, but also you're having to deal with guys who have not dealt with the COVID issue and having to deal with so many guys out uh, because of what's happening on do you kind of uh, take a mentality of, hey, look, it's adversity. You guys are going to be yeah, facing I kinda, it with, Especially with the COVID stuff, because, you know, we kind of dealt with it last year. The kind of mindset <clears throat> I have on it just next man up. And everybody here, you feel me, know they got a role. And sometimes, say, like me me and Cam had been dealing with COVID when they had played Tennessee Valley Prep. The, the bench players had to step up, and they did, and they got to do it. Uh, last question, MMI, you're starting division play. And, of course, we all know – the season is really broken into two seasons. There's non-division play, which gets you prepped for this division play, which determines, you know, who's going to be going into the tournament, what seed. Uh, when you look at everything that you guys have faced, uh, how do you see everything right now going into this first game against MMI, who's actually at the top of the standings right now? Uh, although our record might not show, I'm still pretty confident in my team because we had to face a lot of adversity and. Uh, we had some challenges and bumps in the road, but I'd rather be with these guys than any other team in the state. And uh, I just feel like we got enough enough players and enough talent to get it done, and we're about to turn the season around. The last, those challenges that you faced, it's obviously a strong y'all okay. closer together. Uh, I can see it in y'all's teamwork, and I know it, it's it's got to be something that happy as you as a team leader have got to have seen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well. Uh, congratulations on getting through all the adversity up to this point, Gervais. We wish you the best of luck against MMI. I know it's going to be a tough schedule, but you guys will definitely be out there ready to play. Appreciate that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper, and I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper, and my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too.